morning everybody so for breakfast today i'm going to be making frijoladas which is like a, a staple mexican dish just because if you're in a mexican home for the most part you're always going to have like a container of homemade beans this recipe i would not recommend using canned beans i can't imagine them tasting that great but if you can get your hands on some homemade beans to make this recipe i'm going to start by turning on my stove and then i'm going to add some oil now that my pan is nice and hot, I'm gonna go ahead and add all these. Only add the onion and the garlic first, and then we're gonna add the chilies, just because if you cook the chili for too long, they're gonna have a very bitter taste. I'm gonna let these fry up. Now that I got a nice toast on those, I'll just fry up the chilies, and like I said, you don't wanna fry these too much because it'll have a negative impact. So just until they kind of get a little bit toasty, and these get toasty pretty fast. Now I'm gonna add some water on there. So they're gonna boil in there and then we cover it and I'm gonna let those cook 10 minutes and cover. So while those are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and make the little side salad. Basically just lettuce, tomato, and some onion. How you eat these is it's just simply lime and some salt and that is it. And now I'm cut some onion and some queso fresco. So this is gonna be the filling. Now we got our fillings. And check on these. Ooh, okay. So I'm gonna put in all that juice from the onions and the garlic. Put in the onions and garlic in there, but not the chili, not yet. So for the chilies, you first need to take out the seeds. Unless you want it spicy, but since we have Victoria here, we're gonna take out the seeds. See how they just pop right out of there? And we're gonna blend them up. <coughs> oh shit, homemade beans. Beans, you don't want them to be chunky because then when you cook them in the pan again, they're gonna get very, like, chunkier. To add water. I just eyeball it, but I'm gonna add about that much water. And then we're gonna blend and see where we go from there. I know it looks almost watery, but once you cook it, it's gonna get thicker again. So this consistency right here is good. And before I put the beans, back in this pan. I'm gonna put just a little bit of oil again. And then you're gonna drop some garlics in there. Okay, now that the oil is fragrant with the garlic, I'm gonna head and remove the garlics. And now we're gonna put the beans. Ooh. Well, obviously the beans need a little bit of salt, but instead of salt, I'm gonna use caldo de pollo because it has more flavor than just plain old salt. So I add a little bit on there. And then this is also optional. I'm just gonna drop a chipotle chile in there. And now we just let this cook for around another 10 minutes. Not on high heat though. Just keep an eye on it. Okay, so this has been cooking for approximately eight minutes. And as you can see, it already got a little bit chunkier. Now we're about to <laughs> use more oil because we're gonna fry up our tortillas. Just a little bit. Is that Damn. what it's called? Coman? I guess. Yeah. Enrique always judges my cooking. <laughs> I don't, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, every time I like add salt I or I kinda, oil. I kind of judge the process, but I love the end result. <laughs> have our homemade tortillas here, which are gonna taste better, but you can just use regular Guerrero brand. So we're just gonna fry her up a little. This is nice and hot. We're gonna dip it in the bean sauce. And now this is where all your hard work comes to life. You start putting in your cheese in there, the onion, and you close it. And it's okay if it doesn't have sauce right here because we're gonna, at the end, we're gonna put the sauce on top of all of them. How many do you want, Enrique? Um, hit me with three. Three? three. I'm okay. feeling extra hungry. Oh, and if that's so you fry, dip, put. Fry, dip, dip put. put. Practice makes perfect. And that's the last one. That is the last one. So we're gonna get some more of the frijoles. Frijoles. You're just gonna cover all those bald spots. Bro. <laughs> and we're gonna top it with some more cheese. This is what gives it that beautiful um, aesthetic. <laughs> all about the aesthetic. And then some more onions on top. But wait, there's more. And then we're gonna top it with this crema mexicana. And remember that salad we make? We're gonna put that there on the side and then little lemon and now the taste test so let's cut into these mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Delhi pasta with rice. Okay, so it's officially lunch time, and for lunch today, I'm gonna be making albondiga soup. Albondiga soup is one of my all-time favorites. I grew up having this all the time. My mom used to make it. So before I did anything, I put some rice in the slow cooker. So it's just white rice with tomato powder and some corn in there. So the first thing I did is I cut up four Roma tomatoes. These were kind of a big size, as you can see, but they're four Roma tomatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and put those in the blender. Oh, and then one clove of garlic and a little piece of onion. And then add some water in there, about that much. And we blend. Now that I have all my tomato juice, I'm gonna put a strainer here in my pot. I don't have it on yet, it's okay. Yeah, make sure you do this because or else it's gonna be like really chunky. We want more of a, of a broth texture, not chunkiness. So you just kind of move that around. It kind of takes a while, but once you're done, you'll see all the pulp at the end. So it's been like three minutes and I'm still doing this. Unless you want that, but I just prefer more of a brothy consistency to my soup, not so much like a chunky soup. Now I'm gonna turn on the oven to a little below medium medium heat. I'm gonna add some water. Honestly, just eyeballing it. I never measure anything, like half of the pot. And if you have chicken broth, that's gonna be even better. But that's what this is for. This is our make-believe chicken broth and it's just as good. So always have this on deck in your house if you wanna cook Mexican foods because so many of the dishes have this. So we're just gonna add this to your liking. So I'm just gonna start off. Don't add too much because you can always put in but you can never take out. So I just start with a little. Once it heats up, I'll taste it, but for now, I'll just leave it at that. So for this soup, you're gonna need a potato. I use one big russet potato, and I just have it in water and a little bit of vinegar, just so they don't turn brown on me. And then I have two very small thin carrots, but some people add like a lot more things like zucchini and stuff, but for me, that's just how my mom used to make it always, just potatoes and carrots, so. Now we're gonna do the meatballs. Most albondiga soups, they'll use uh, ground beef. I personally use ground chicken or ground turkey just because it's a little healthier. And cause we're gonna have beef for dinner, I don't wanna overdo it. So, so I have my pack of chicken. I'm just gonna dump that in there. Push it up a little bit. You're gonna add one egg. Add some salt. And then you can add so many spices to this. I'm just out right now. Usually I would add like oregano and garlic powder and a bunch of stuff, but it's okay if it's a little bit plain because the soup's gonna have a lot of flavor. And then you're gonna add some rice. Again, I just eyeball it. Then we mix with our hands. And I recommend doing white rice because one time I used brown because I was like, oh, brown rice because it's gonna be so much healthier. But trust me, it takes so long for that brown rice to cook. And it was just a nightmare because then all my vegetables got really mushy and it was just, no. No wonder I felt like I was missing something. You put diced onion in there. That's like one of the most important parts of these meatballs. It gives it so much flavor. Um, and you can also add garlic, but I'm just too lazy to cut up garlic right now. So I'm just gonna do onion. There we go. Ooh, the effects of cutting onion. <laughs> Holy moly, that, that, was, that was rough. Now we're gonna make meatballs for the soup. The albondigas, if you will. My soup is starting to boil a little bit. So that means the meatballs are gonna be the first to go in there. Don't just dump them in there. Be careful, because they'll splash. You gotta be careful. Now that I have my meatballs in there, I'm gonna put the timer for 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes have passed that these have been cooked, I will add the potatoes and the carrots. Okay, my meatballs have been cooking for 10 minutes. So now it's time to add all this shit. This is <laughs> the part where it's always tricky because usually it gets really full in here. So I'm gonna add my carrots, potatoes. Make sure you just move those in there so they fit. And this thing of cilantro in there, just shove it right in there and a little chunks of mint as well. Um, we're not gonna eat those, that just gives the broth a nice flavor. And since I see that I have a little more space, I'm gonna put some more water in there just so there's more broth. Oh, I did it. Okay, doesn't that look beautiful? And then we're just gonna cook that for 15 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna put 15. Basically know when it's ready, once the potatoes and the carrots are soft, and also once the rice inside of the, the meatballs is cooked. 
So I just chicked the soup and I think it needs more time. I'm gonna put another 10 minutes. Okay, so the 10 minutes is up. Let's go ahead and try a meatball, see if it's fully cooked. And as long as the rice is cooked, that means it's done. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now that it's ready, I put the heat on low just so it stays hot. But when you eat them, you're gonna eat them with a tortilla. So the first thing you wanna do is remember that rice I made earlier? cilantro on top for garnish and your tortilla it's a happy face is that for me that's for you it's a super easy meal the only time consuming thing is just letting it cook but other than that it's pretty easy And yes, tapatio. tapatio. I mean, unless you don't like everything. spicy, but. <laughs> I think he's a pussy when it comes to hot food. Don't call me that. A wuss. This word misogynistic. Yum. It's really good. Super healthy. Super filling. Period. Gotta refill. <laughs> Getting stronger. You and do it I'm done. I finished my whole plate. I might get seconds. Your plate was way smaller than mine. So it's now dinner time. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not hungry at all. I honestly feel like I could just fall asleep right now. But I promise I do this video, so I'm gonna do it. So for dinner today, I'm gonna make piste ranchero. I'm basically like a Mexican stir fry. So these are the ingredients you need. Growing up, my mom always said, if you don't know what to cook, always add chile, tomate, y cebolla. And it's so true, like you can make eggs with this, chicken with this. It just takes food to a whole nother level. Right, so I started off by heating my pan. I have it like on medium high heat. Some oil. My pan is officially hot. So I'm gonna add the meat. For seasoning, I'm gonna use Larry salt. Some Hugo Maggi, which is basically just like soy sauce. Not too much, just a little. And some lime. And then we cover and let it cook. We can laugh. We can see la 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 la. Taste the meat, not the heat. See how the meat is releasing all these juices? This is what's gonna make it so yummy. Now we're gonna add the onions, the chiles, and the tomates. The Mexican flag. Where's the eagle? Um, that's the meat. <laughs> Stir that around a bit. This is kind of like lomo saltado, but Mexican version. Lomo salteado. So, oh, really? No, I'm pretty sure it's saltado. Pretty sure. Enrique always thinks he's right about Pretty this. sure it's salteado. I'm pretty sure it's saltado. Okay, Google. <laughs> lomo salteado. According to Wikipedia, lomo saltado. <laughs> Onions, tomatoes, french fries, and okay, shut up, Google. So, yeah, Google. it's like lomo saltado. I really like lomo saltado, but I also like the Mexican, so I do like a Mexican Peruvian infusion. But so you're not even Peruvian. Enough. What are you doing? I might be. I don't know. You're so, not. I have my papas fritas here. Well, they're not fried yet, but we're gonna fry them up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smells good. So, now that it has a nice boil, I'm gonna add a can of tomato sauce. And cook again. 10 minutes and then we'll check on it. Now I put the oven or the stove top on for this one because I'm gonna fry my fries. <laughs> how much oil do you think we've eaten today? Oh my gosh, a shit ton. And how much have you burned with your exercises and such? I mean, we, we did some exercise earlier. <laughs> I need some exercise. <laughs> You were chilling. Yeah, don't think we're pigs. Like usually we don't eat three full meals like this. It's usually around two full meals. And then <laughs> and then one of them is like something light. But of course for the video, we need to make elaborate dishes. Also you're lying to them because this is not what you get in a day. 
I thought, dun, this, dun, dun. I thought this was what you eat in a day. If you're making like a, what I eat in a day, but fancy version, then. Not fancy, like I do cook it. It's just we get so full that we wouldn't eat all this food. Right, yeah. yeah. It's, it's not just, like, <laughs> make one, one meal, yeah. and then just like eat the same meal at night, which is what we do. That's pretty much, like, honestly, if this was a normal day, we just have the albondigas for dinner again. We just wait. Oh, maybe this is hot now. Yes, you are. Oh, oh. Yeah. Ooh, that looks so good. Okay, we're gonna fry our fries. Okay, Enrique just put them in there for me. Are you excited for dinner? Are you gonna eat? Are you hungry still? I'm not hungry, but I'll eat. <laughs> That's the story food. of my life. <laughs> it's not a food belly. This is a real baby belly. <laughs> Why does she think that's funny? No, no. <laughs> She's gone crazy. Go. Ketchup for the fries. You want ketchup for the fries? I definitely do. Okay, let me let me focus in the main dish. I'm sure the fries are gonna be just. I mean, better. this has uh, tomato sauce. Not ketchup, brother. Right. Awesome. Okay, so we get a little bit of rice rice. from this like broken thing. Potato. Mm. I dropped half of it, but it's good. It's really good. Okay, of the three meals of today, which one was your favorite? Three meals. But, huh? Honestly? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think the enfrijoladas take the cake. However, really? I enjoy these too because they have the protein is actual meat, not beans. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys. Okay, you guys. Okay, you guys. That was it for our... Are you okay? <laughs> that was it for what I eat in a day. I hope you guys make these meals. If you do, remember to tag me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. I'll try and put it somewhere around. If you guys want another one of these videos, then just make sure to let me know in the comments and I'm more than happy to because I love cooking. You shouldn't turn it your channel as a cooking channel, but mm -hmm. definitely add cooking segments because oh, yeah. I mean, honestly, your cooking is on point and I'm telling you, I know not, I don't cook, but I know food. Okay. And damn, yeah, your stuff is... Mm -hmm. It's like my grandma's mm -hmm. and yours and just right here is my mom's cooking. Oh. Like, yeah, you're approaching that. <laughs> Victoria, you're lucky. You're going to have a really good cook as a mom. And she's going to be a good cook. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really looking forward. Looking. <laughs> Did I show you my app? <laughs> I think so. I'm really looking forward to reading all your guys' comments. Oh. Oh. Damn, this guy just keeps interrupting me. I'm sorry, bro. Make my day today, tomorrow, yesterday, every day. So keep them coming. Yeah, I like reading comments too. Oh, yeah, sometimes and Ricky always answers you guys too. Always, sometimes. <laughs> A lot of times. We're gonna go ahead and finish our dinner, so bye. Delicious. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>